Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use Excel VBA to count how many printable pages there are on a worksheet. Now this was a question I received yesterday um, where somebody had a lot of sheets in a workbook. I think it was 34 sheets in that instance uh, but it can change and they wanted to have a list of those sheet names and how many printable pages there were on each one and they wanted a macro to do that just a little clickable button for it so I thought that would be a, a lovely challenge for a video to upload you know these simple challenges are great when you're just starting out in VBA and you need something to get your teeth into to practice your skills and counting how many printable pages in a worksheet is something I don't think I've done before. So I had a quick look and it didn't take long to find out. But then by knowing how to loop through sheets and techniques like that, you know, we were able to put it together. So if you want to have that challenge, pause the video now and have a go at it. Otherwise, here we go with my solution. We have this sheet it's the first one it's called summary it's the first one and we've got column b here column two for the sheet name column three for number principal pages the row three is where the first one's going in uh, those numbers are important which i mentioned them before i go into the editor but here we go let's go in there develop a visual basic and let's start up a sub procedure in here so let's have sub and i'm going to call it print pages that's a good name as any. And I want to have a couple of variables, which I'm just going to call R. We'll make that long. That's going to be for the row number. And I'm just going to call it S. And that's going to be a byte variable. And that's going to be for the worksheet. I want to use a counter loop uh, just to move between the worksheets of this file. That's my plan. Uh, so there's a couple of variables. Uh, I'm going to assign number three to the first variable for the row number. Remember the first row of the list that I'm printing to uh, is row number three. Then we're going to start up our loop. Now I want to say for s equals two. So I'm going to use a for next loop here uh, because I have a predetermined number of times to run it. And I want to start from sheet two because the first one is summary and the second one is where we actually begin to find out the printable pages. And that's going to happen to the active workbook uh, dot worksheets dot count. So I'm going to run this until there are no more sheets, to the end of the sheets. I was able to specify our own loop here. So if it wasn't number two to the end, no, this can all be ad adapted. I'm then going to put in next. And in between there, the two things we need to do is write the name of each sheet into the cell and then the number of printable pages to a cell. Now I'm going to use the cells object and I'm going to use the variable that we've got for the row number. So currently it's number three, but we will increment that. And column two. Remember the column that the sheet name is being printed to is column B, i.e. two. And the value of that cell uh, will be uh, worksheets s. So that's the index I'm using for the worksheet for the second sheet all the way through. Dot name. So what is the name of the second sheet, then the third sheet, then the fourth sheet, then the fifth sheet? And put it into that cell. So now I've got the sheet name. I now need to get the number of printed pages. Uh, which is what this video is all about really and for that we can have worksheet subject again s dot page setup uh, dot pages dot count now how easy is that uh, i had to quickly look that up which takes no time um depending on the you know in the world we live in nowadays and depending what uh, ways you're searching for it but being able to incorporate that with our cells object, uh, with our for loop and our variables, 
once you've got those fundamental VBA skills in play, you can do this kind of stuff. And that's why I think this is such a, a lovely little challenge, uh, little successes, uh, things like this, uh, when you're starting out with these skills. Now we do need to increment our row variable, so we can't forget to do that. So once you've done it to the third row, now the fourth one, now the fifth one, now the sixth one, and so on, until you finally run out of sheets. So that is my print pages macro. I'm going to close down the developer tab. Uh, maybe we'll uh, stick a quick little button, shall we, next to it? Uh, that is the command button. Let's put it there just for, for a moment. We'll get it to run print pages. And maybe we'll call it um, list the pages. List the pages. I don't know. That'll do. <laughs> I click away from it. And then we'll test out our macro. Let me give that button a click. And here they come. So this is rather a crude macro in this example. You know, just quickly put together. Uh, there are other bells and whistles or other techniques we can use. But it was a quick demonstration, uh, as I say, of a little challenge to accomplish uh, that you guys out there might be finding out how to do as well. If you're looking to learn your VBA skills, things like this uh, really help uh, cement those skills in play. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.